Well, today we're going to take a look at the ways that we are personalizing the Hioki Cheetah. So stick around. Well, hello again, Internet. Welcome back to the channel. Yeah, like I say, we are out on the Hioki Cheetah today, and we are on the Greenway Trails down here towards Raleigh, North Carolina. And I have to tell you, when I, as I've got the mileage on this thing, it just screams, take me on the bike trails, take me on the rail trails. Now, we're going to show you some other spots, and we're going to see how it does on some, let's just say, more difficult trails. But uh, uh, for right now, I gotta tell you, man, this thing is wonderful to ride on this type of thing right here. And you get into these areas that have older trails, you got all the bumps on them, and why, it works out beautiful there as well, especially with that back suspension. How y'all doing today? And. Uh, Uh, so, let's talk about what we've done so far to personalize this bike. We have, of course, put on our bar end mirrors. We put on our Posico phone mount. And we've got a, a light that we put on here. I didn't bring it with me today because we're not out in any kind of traffic. But we put a light on there. Okay. The main thing that I put on here is this adjustable stem right here. And so it's a little bit of a shorter stem and it adjusts up. So what we've done was we've brought the handlebars up and back a little bit. Uh, that suits me pretty well. Now what else have we done? Well, nothing just yet. There are several things I'm thinking of. You see, I can't get my fingers off of the brake levers. So I am probably going to change these brake levers, put them more to the inside so one finger controls them very easily. Uh, and I'll tell you the reason that I don't want to do that right away is the cable management that Hioki has put on this thing is, I mean, really, really some of the best that I've ever seen. So I hate to unwrap that and move things around up here. Uh, what else are we considering doing? Well, I might, if I do that, go with a, uh, how are you doing today? I may end up going with a thumb throttle instead of the half twist. Uh, that's just my preference. How you doing? For a, uh, uh, for a bicycle. That, that's just a personal preference of mine. Uh, the seat. Let's talk about the seat because everybody, everybody, it's, it's, it's a well-known fact. You cannot buy a bike and keep the same seat on it. You have to get a new one. And anybody who has ever cycled, well, seats are like that sock with a missing pair to it. You've got them everywhere. You got at least two dozen of them and there's at least that many missing somewhere else. But I have to tell you, so far this seat is actually, I like it. I like it. Uh, I have no plans on changing it right now. Maybe that'll change when I, you know, if I put the handlebars more narrow or anything like that. What else do we have plans for on this bike? I'm gonna be honest with you. That is pretty much it at this point. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be pretty much all I'm wanting to do right now. Now, another 50 miles, we might do something else in there as well but for right now we're going to keep it with just that right there i'm very satisfied with that and we're taking this on some relatively big trips uh, two of us coming by have a great day uh, we're planning some pretty good trips with this bike so what we're going to do we're going to cut off here and i'm going to jump in when we get up to the more hardcore trails and we'll see how that goes with this bike. So yeah, 
we'll be with you just like that. And here we are at the other place that this thing is really good at. And we're gonna head up onto the single track mountain bike trails. And down there on the greenways, you know, the suspension really helps out if you're on a bumpy one. But up here, oh, this is great. You know, this is kind of a rocky, bumpy road that I'm riding on right now. I don't feel a thing. I don't feel a thing. And these trails are going to get tighter and tighter as we go up through here. But this is great places to take this. And let's talk a little bit about having the lights and the fenders on because I'm not taking them off. And I'm going to be honest with you. I have no plans to take them off either. Uh, yeah, I think this bike, to me, is perfect for the bikeways, the rail trails, and that kind of thing. Now we're into the tighter stuff here. Now this is the other area. And these are the things that you can do with this bike as well. And you can have the mirrors and the rack and the light still on for it. But let's roll through here some. And this back suspension is really about perfect for this type of trail. And you'll have to excuse, whoop, nice little bridge here. I have to excuse the beep beep if it comes through. That is because Michelle and I have separated with the helmets. I'm just taking this loop and then I'll meet her back up ahead of the trailhead.
this is what off-road is all about to me. Is this kind of stuff right here. done this once before. And so we're sort of on our way out here now. Little bit of air there. And we caught up to Michelle. All right. Now, I don't know how much of that footage, because I'm gonna be honest with you, I get to breathing hard when I go to riding that hard. All right, now, I don't know how much of this is gonna make it into the video, but uh, uh, let me see if I can point this down just a little bit here. 
I don't talk a whole lot when I'm riding like that. You know, that gets, that's kind of in my blood. When I go to riding through them woods, I try and haul. But I won't put enough of it in there that you can see we were moving through them woods. And if you look at the front fenders, nothing. No problems with the lights. No problems with the back fender. No problems with the tail light. But there is, in my opinion, zero reason to take any of these parts off if you're going to be using this on the trail. And like I said, this thing to me screams rail trail, bike trails, you know, the greenways. I mean, it is just wonderful on this. <sighs> Let me tell you something, it wasn't bad in there either. <laughs> All right, so we got out of the harder mountain bike trails and I don't know how much of that's going to make it into the video because as you can see, I don't talk a whole lot, but boy, I tell you it, gets you, it gets me winded, you know. When I get into them woods, I just don't have a choice. I just kind of start going hard best that I can. And uh, uh, so I get the breathing pretty heavy. How y'all doing today? And uh, so I don't, talk, I don't tend to talk a whole lot, but I gotta tell you, man, we thrashed this thing pretty good through there. I'm, I'm here to tell you, the fenders are all, nothing bent on the fenders. The headlight's still in good shape. The rack and the back fender and the tail light, everything, there's no problems with any of that. Uh, yeah, it, it just, it held up very well for that. So with the way that this thing, huh, see now I'm kind of second guessing myself. Boy, that was, that was a lot of fun inside there on them trails too, but no, 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 no. I stand by what I said. No, the way that this thing rides out on these greenway trails, it's just so smooth. And I just really like it for that. But you can still get in there. And when I say you can thrash a bike through them tighter woods, you can really thrash this thing through the tighter woods. There's no question about that. And uh, uh, so I have no reason to want to get rid of that rack and the fenders and everything. Hey. I'm gonna leave them right where they're at. And when I choose to go in there, well, we'll just go in there with them. They hold up great. So with all that said, hey, if you're interested in this bike, look down below, there's a link in the description and there is a discount code. You can save a little bit of money on it. Uh, if you go through that link and put in the code Southern 50. And uh, how y'all doing today? Hello. And yeah, if you put in that code Southern 50, you can, you can save you a little bit of money right there, and, and we appreciate that. Uh, but I believe that's going to wrap it up on this one. Till next one, Internet, Southern E-Biking telling you, stay safe, God bless, and keep the wheels rolling. Once again, we are out.